Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokolever, and right now, we're going to continue playing as the Russian SFSR. And, uh, yeah, we are currently helping out the normal Chinese government, the regular Chinese government, instead of the... The Shangan Ning border region. What the heck? Uh, Mao, that's usually not your name for your country. Shangan Ning. Something Wong. Anyways, uh, yeah. So we're trying to help out the Chinese here. But I've also decided to help out the Republicans in Spain, but they're actually getting whacked pretty freaking hard right now. And we, at the end of last episode, we literally just sent them to divisions. Some divisions over there. So by the time we get there, we're probably going to lose. But that's fine. If we get those five divisions back from Republican Spain, I'm going to send those five divisions or how um, many divisions to Mao Zedong because we can send three divisions to him, which would be okay. Uh, however, I do want to let you know that I, I have been thinking about the name of our faction. Right now, we're still called the Comintern, but you cannot change your faction name at all once it's created. However, because we have Tanutuva and Mongolia, we cannot rename it, but if I kick those two countries out, which is fine with me, because it'll pretty much just join right back in, I think, if we ask them to. So we just kick them out, and we can create up our new name. So I've got three titles here. Two are from you guys. The first one is called World Revolutionary Organization. That's, you know, the initials of WRO. So World Revolution, World Revolutionary Organization is the first title. Or Perpetual Revolution Assistant Pact. P-R-A-P. It's also, I would probably ask, actually call it the Perpetual Revolutionary Assistance Pact, which sounds just a little bit better. Uh, there's PRAP, or the one I just thought of just super easy, World Alliance of Revolutionaries. World Alliance of Revolutionaries, and its acronym is WAR, obviously. So, I kind of like the one I came up with, but the other two aren't bad either. So, let me know in the comments below whether you like World Revolutionary Organization, Perpetual Revolution Assistance Pact, or World Alliance of Revolutionaries. And I will change the faction name at the beginning, if I remember, of tomorrow's episode. Anyways, uh, ooh, I'm glad we did send some of divisions, some of our divisions to help out the Chinese down here. And these guys might look a little weak. It's because they are. They don't have as much artillery as they should really get. But, you know, whatever. And infantry are just infantry. That's fine, fine, fine. Cool. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys make it. If not, whatever. Uh, someone did say, with these focuses, that I should go down the anti-capitalist diplomacy focus. Which is the more historical focus if you play vanilla Hoi 4 as a Soviet Union. Which is okay. Which isn't bad. It wasn't really my goal to go down this way. I mean, you have the common turn, which makes a lot of the countries around you get more communist influence for three years. You get the southern front, or southern thrust against Afghanistan and the Assyrian Empire, uh, claim the Straits against Turkey, ultimatum to Greece, war with the UK, reconcile Japan, uh, claim Xinjiang, and into the plateau, which is India, which is okay, I think, or something like that. I mean, this is okay. This obviously has more focuses than World Revolution, but I really want to do World Revolution just because you get less subversive activities costs, guarantee cost goes down. Every country in the world that's not communist already will get communism support for an entire year you get extremely fast war justify war goal times by 80 percent which is amazing switch to war economy which i'll probably do ahead of time anyways you'll get more guns but they're less reliable and then you get five percent more recruitable population and more non-core manpower as well so i really want to do world revolution because i've never taken it before but let me know on your thoughts below, because right now we're doing initial reforms, we're 66 days left, and then I'm immediately going to go over here to do Progress Cult to get another research slot, research speed, and then to improve the Trans-Siberian Railway because we will remove poor rail networks, as well as indus industry slowdown, so that'll be good to do as well. So, please leave your comments below as you're fiercely typing below the description. Good lord, Republican Spain, you really need help. Now, uh, you know what? Since we're not going to hopefully be in war for a while... Send three divisions to help out the communist Chinese. Uh, planning speed, chance to get wounded in combat. Not bad. Yeah, let's choose him since he's level three. Let's give you guys, send volunteers. Krell. Cool. And I'm definitely going to have to make some more factories. But yeah, 
just mostly focus on civilian factories. There's really not much we're going to oh, do here in this episode because, unfortunately, I wanted to go to war with Finland. But those god dang capitalist countries, <clears throat> imperialists called the UK and France, well, they're guaranteeing them. So I'm not exactly sure if I can use the independence guarantees to my advantage. For example, I could perhaps guarantee the independence of Albania, and if Italy attacks them, that would throw Italy at war with the French and the UK, which the German Reich would also be called into war as well. So I don't think that would be very conductive or fruitful at the moment. I want the Germans to take pretty much everyone out and just have me and them and the Italians fighting each other, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put you somewhere. It looks like we really, really might... I don't know. The entire front line looks, looks absolutely terrible, to be honest. Uh, I want to protect Madrid. So let's try that, maybe. I don't really know how this is going to work out. Probably not that well. But let's see what happens. The worst thing we could do is try and lose a lot of uh, manpower guns and stuff like that. And it sounds like my cat, named Binky, thinks he's alone and now he's getting lonely. Hold on. Please, one second here. Hey, Bink. Binky. Alright then, yeah. My cat likes... Well, my cat usually starts meowing with a deep voice when he feels like he gets very lonely. He's a very special cat. Anyways, um... Yeah, these guys, the Japanese guys, they like to attack our boys a lot. Uh, let's see, anything here? Socialist education, yeah. The Iranian Communist Authority name for basically communist Iran really sucks. I mean, they just could have called it Revolutionary Iran. Or Revolutionary Persia, that'd be cool. Revolutionary Persia. I think that'd be really awesome, but of course, I can't change their name, unfortunately, so... Let's see, anything going on up here? No? I mean, if the Republicans would stop... A oh, Beijing fell. If the Republicans would stop attacking, they might be okay. But then... You know? I don't know. I mean, I did send my tanks. Yeah, we might actually be able to help push this way, maybe. They are... They do have two divisions. I only have so many light tanks, though, so... Alright, so we pushed through here a little bit. Um, it looks like we really aren't needed in Madrid. If there's somewhere that we could push, could we unite back up here? Perhaps. Maybe. Let's see if we can try that, maybe. Unite with Barcelona, basically. Or reunite with them. I was just looking over here. Oh, they pushed us out. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Just hold. Just hold. You're here really to defend everyone. Oh, good. Some old Chinese soldiers have arrived. Cool. You guys are doing all right. Having a good time. I'm going to send you, like, these two provinces. There's only so many of you guys, and each and every single one of you will be needed. I really don't think we can... Well, maybe we could win here in Spain, but we'll see what happens. Go ahead and push these guys in. They shouldn't be able to pierce you. Uh, what is my supply of motorized... Oh, we got a lot of big... Oh, that's good. That's nice. We got quite a few light tanks as well. I love it. We are taking some attrition, which is not good for a supply of light tanks. And are we winning at all? Or are we just slightly winning? No? Um, It's probably not worth attacking then. Yeah, I don't want to cause too many injuries or deaths or lack of goods and materials and stuff like that. And nice, we can go to war with the Finns. But that's not really my prerogative at the moment. 1937, of course. Hmm. We need more rubber. Hmm. Could build refineries, but I think we're okay at the moment. 1937. Support companies. Field hospitals would be okay. Not really extremely important. I like signal companies because they give you more initiative. Yeah, 20% more initiative. It can reinforce quicker. It can reinforce in battle. And the quicker it gets its planning done. I love support companies so much. Land Doctrine's okay. Uh, how about Air Doctrine? Operational Integrity is what I really, really love to do. Uh, yeah, there's really not much for 1937. Actually, what I'm going to do is probably this. Army Focus. It takes forever, but it gives you 50 more organizations. So. And that could be extremely useful for all of your divisions. All of them. Uh, oh, our guys are still getting up there. That's fine. 
How are we doing over here? Ooh. Seven war propaganda. It's not bad, but not extremely needed at the moment. Send you two this way. Can you help maybe attack this way with those guys? Perhaps? Four divisions against one might yield some pretty good results. Keep the infantry here, though, just because we don't want to get caught with our pants down. Very nice. Very nice. What if I told you to go this way? You can straight attack? Cool. Alright, so we're attacking into the mountains against the mountaineers. That's a bad idea. That's a pretty bad idea. U U.S. Congress passes the Neutrality Act. So be it. Actually, send the motorized over here and then attack this direction to increase the combat width. That'd be kind of nice. And we have some planes, right? They're training currently. Uh, for fighters, you know what? We've got 400 of you guys. I can send 200 of them over here. That'll definitely help these guys out. And send 100 of you guys. Do that. And the rest can continue doing pilot exercises. I'm not going to send them to Asia because Japan will just destroy all the, pla all the planes that we currently have. So I don't want my planes to be destroyed just yet. Alright, well, this is looking maybe a little better. Perhaps. I'm really just here to defend Republican Spain until the Nationalists get overpowered with German and Italian support. Nice, we're going to push up. This will actually save us a tile since we have two tiles here that need to be defended. So we may turn that into one tile. That's much easier to defend. Nice. Uh, we could attack a single mountaineer. Let's see. We need more guns. We need a lot more artillery and support equipment. Anschluss of Austria. Oh no. And the Japanese continue to attack us. Yeah, just keep defending, guys. Oh, yeah, keep defending. You're here to defend. You're here to do a good job. And get a lot of that naval XP. Mmm, baby, I love it. Delicious. I want to attack this area, but I don't... Eh, maybe we can use all of our divisions to attack that way. I do maybe want to save... Wait, supply... Bl reinforcement block. No supply from capital. Huh. No supply from capital. Wow, supply. Cool. Um... I have 16 cup convoys. I think 34 in total. Uh, previous bottleneck. Ports in Crimea. Is the Crimea the region, really? But we have level 10. Hmm. Interesting. Regardless. It is October. That's 199 days. Fast research speed is pretty broken in this mod, so... Screw it, I'll do that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, initial reforms, great. So, we decreased the duration of opposition officers purged. Next up is progress gold cult for a sixth research slot, which is insane. Which is great and insane, which I love. And we'll have a good time. Really, I can't really attack if I can't get any more supplies. What the heck? No supply from capital. Waiting for equipment to be produced and delivered. Yeah, I'm not really understanding that. Like... Uh, does the Nationalists have any ships? They have 8 to 18. Republicans have, to, have up to 18. Capital's right there. So basically, we're not getting any supply. I can't figure out why, because it doesn't make any sort of sense. Is it because we can't pass through here? Trade can pass. Hmm... Very questionable. I'm just going to use these guys to defend for now. I guess Republican Spain is going to be a loss. Oh my goodness, we got way too much political power that we're not even using. Uh, I'm probably just going to go straight to war economy. That's probably for the best. Army experience, land, doctrine, research, speed. But I could really, really use better boosts to construction speeds as well as the number of factories you can use. Awesome, much better. And I want more. Just give me all those civilian factories because we're going to have to build a lot. Great. And we have a fifth research slot. 1937. I would like to focus more on naval ships. So which we will. 
Awesome. So how's Asia doing? And by Asia, I mean really China. Well, it looks like they got invaded once, twice. Uh, up here's okay. And we're constantly getting attacked this direction. Qing Dao, you just can't hold up, man. 20, 21, 19, yeah, they're just bushwhacking us. Oof. That is not good. Oh, great. Criticized for a weak foreign policy. We had the chance to strike against our enemies, but the All-Union Communist Party let it pass by. Not only is this yet another damning case and a string of misled opportunities to strengthen the Russian SFSR's position internationally, it is a sign that the claim to be acting in the interest of the Soviet people is mostly empty rhetoric. It's time for a change of policy. Jesus, why? How does that make sense? No, 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 no. There's no room for public disagreement outside of party meetings. Ooh, well, time looks like we got to institute some press censorship because we cannot have less than... 50% uh, party popularity, my friends. No, no, no. Oh, no, nice. We no longer get the effects of industry slow down for now. So, let's wait. They are attacking us more and more and more. Oh, my goodness. They, The Japanese, they are just beasts when it comes to attack, attack, attack. Doesn't help that I'm out of equipment, too. So. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. Resource efficiency gain. Industry... Ah, uh, screw it. We'll start doing some air doctrine, because why not? Yeah, there's really not much we can do. I mean, I'm mostly here just for XP. So. Let's see. Guns. We're doing better on guns. Artillery still hasn't changed very much. Support equipment's okay. Republican Spain is... Doing alright, I guess. Still can't get any supply, because I think the game might be glitched. Reinforcement is blocked. No supply from capital, which makes no sense. I mean, we have their capital. We have access to a port Valencia. So, I think it's glitched. So, there's really not much we can do over here. And all these ports are pretty open. So. Mm, oh, how are our planes doing? Are they doing okay? Oh, well, actually, I don't want you to do that. I want you to focus on this. Well, as long as our planes are doing okay, we're getting quite a bit of... Hey, nice! That's a pretty good amount of uh, air XP already. Who knows, maybe having just enough air XP will help out our allies, or potential allies down there, in this Hispania. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to institute press censorship, but after I at least get... Ooh, Captain of Industry is pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I want as many buffs to civilian factory construction speed as possible. Because that's all I'm going to build for quite a... Ooh. Preparing for the worst. Oh, but I want to make sure I can justify on people so I can piss other people off. Hmm. Afghanistan. Italy. Well, it really depends on what everyone does, I suppose. I really don't want to attack and waste my guys' lives and equipment. Uh, light tanks, actually. 2.1 thousand. Heavy tanks, we got 75 in reserves. Oh, God. We are, we are getting definitely pushed out. Progress Colts are very good. Go ahead and come over there. It's not ideal, but do it anyways. Happy 1938, everyone. Uh, let's see. More defense. Yeah, we definitely immediately need more defense. And then, yeah, we definitely have to do this to remove poor... Well, well actually, poor rail networks. Hmm. Bonus. War on industry. Sounds like fun. That sounds like a really fun time. But... I really want to remove the poor rail nets and potentially liberate us from the debuffs of poor industry. Nice, he moved over here. Maybe you can actually defend, but it looks like Japan is really just hammering... Yep, there we go. Railway slows production, again. And we lose almost all the political power that we have. Holy crap. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let it go by a day. I'm going to get an advisor first, and then I'm going to let that happen. Uh, for right now, we got a pretty good amount of army XP. I'm not going to do army XP experience gain. So I'm going to get captain of industry. Let's just build, 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 build. Stop bugging me about it. So, and that's why I chose improved Trans-Siberian Railway. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. But we'll see what happens, of course. Uh, how is this looking up here? Northern China's okay. Central China is looking very bad. Yeah. Yeah, not, not good. Oh, looks like they're trying to get Beijing back. And Republican Spain is pretty much stalled out at the moment. 
Still doing some pretty good damage for having only a hundred planes of ours. That's not bad. And do they have actually any any sort of enemy planes? They do have 18, which we were killing quite a few. Inclined belt armor scheme, very nice. We'll come back to the ship soon, but let's get improved infantry equipment at level one. Oh, we are almost out of our deficit of infantry equipment, as well as support equipment, so we really should focus more heavily on artillery support next. Even though we're not really doing anything at all with all this stuff. Uh, let's start making some heavy fighters. We're definitely going to need that. Help on the line, delay, great. Maybe a little bit of a bonus for mobile defense. I love it. Ah, oh, six research slots. So nasty. Industry slowdown, whatever. Nice. Very nice. Let me see. Vas Vasily, you're level three now. Cool. How about your... Oh, Nikandur Chibisov. His offensive doctrine. He's level three as well. Uh, let's see, Spanish Volunteers, how are you doing? You haven't really gotten that much experience. You do have Unyielding Defender, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, there's really not much else we can do. I hate having all this negative political power. You can't do anything with all this negative political power. And Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon, and they join the Axis. Oof. Also, something to notice, I didn't see this earlier. But we have the Assyrian Empire in Iraq. They're fascists. They're slowly becoming more democratic by the day, I believe. Or I could be wrong, no, maybe not by the day, but, no, no, democratic influence, daily democracy support. So, it'll be interesting to see what they do, they're probably going to join the allies, so be it. Another capitalist nation, garbage capitalists. Now, uh, we've just been pushed out in various places in China. Oh, goodness. Actually, you know what, increase this by a little bit. And, I mean, if you can attack and succeed, so be it, but if not, I'm calling you back home. But you are veterans, holy crap. Nice. Some good old mountaineer boys. And they do get a little bit more artillery now, which is awesome. So right now, we have more than enough guns. And I don't want to produce guns that will become out of date someday. Do that. Put guns at the bottom of everyone else. Good. Oh, uh, I do want you over here, though. Go ahead and hold. That'll be good. That'll be very, very good. It looks like not much is going on here. I think the northern portion will be fine for now. Uh, so we could really use some help around somewhere else. Probably this line or something. Do that. Yeah, the, the nationalists are just winning slightly, especially up here. For now, at least. But it's really interesting to see that I can't get any more supply through here. So, let's see, develop Siberian thingamabobs to so get four more military factories. You get eventually develop Vladivostok, which is okay. Finish the five year plan. Ooh, six civilian factories. I like that. Workers' culture sounds great, especially with construction speed plus 10%. Uh, assembly line production at 36 steel. Transformation of nature is great. Herb. Forced urbanization. Sounds like we're going to have a lot of abortions, but that's just me. Actually, I did look up the uh, demographics of Russia. And I bring up abortions just because I saw, like, in 1965, they had almost 5.5 million abortions. Now, you can have your opinion on abortion or not, but that's a lot of dead babies, you know. And I probably... Yeah, I can never monetize this video, but that's okay. I don't really care. But the concept of a five-year plan is... Wait, the, while the concept of a five-year plan is sound on the surface, the shortcomings of the Stalin's regime in its execution are well known, even if they have not been full openly talked about until now. With our new regime, we must conduct inspections of every facet of the five-year plan. We will identify its weak points and eradicate them like any other enemy of the Union. With a gun to the head and a chest full of might. I, I don't know where the chest came in, but we'll, we'll call it that. Uh, you might want to help these guys down here. Yeah, I might want to... Never mind. Well, well, mm, we might win down here, actually. What happened to the other division? Oh, you're t just taking forever. Okay. You were sightseeing down in Asia. So be it. So be it, Soviet. Cool. He's infantry expert or ambusher. Well, really, eventually we're going to have a lot of heavy tanks, and I want my tanks to attack. I want my infantry really to be good at defending... At least right now, so we'll get more max entrenchment and recon bonus while entrenched. 
Let's see if that will help us against the Japanese attacks. Come on, you can make it down. God dang it. I guess you can't make it down here. Failure. Shameful display. Absolutely shameful. Oh, yeah, Japan's going to win against China, I'm pretty sure, so. Ooh. Anything over here? Please tell me when I can add more planes. I would love to add more planes. Enemy missions. We haven't killed too many other interwar fighters, which really, really kind of sucks. Just kill all the enemy planes and you'll be golden. You'll be really, really golden. And the Bulgarians signed the Tripartite Act. Pact. So they're basically in the Axis. Hmm. Hmm. As long as they don't declare war on me too early. Because <clears throat> I need more factories. Hmm. But just keep spamming those civilian factories, boys. And when you're done with the civilian factories, build some more. Oh, actually, build that too. There you go. The Penne incident. Oh, right. Okay, Doki. Artichoke. Oh, they broke through. That's not good. Yeah, China, you're not looking so good. Nice. That's done. 1938. Engineering stuff. Good. Let's get some radar because I love radar so much. It's so useful. Could we attack this direction? Potentially. War on industry is done. Now, we could do nationwide inspections, which will really hurt us for a month, but that's okay. For this, we begin de-Stalinization. We get more daily political power and weekly stability for 100 days. That's not bad. Status of the labor unions. Not bad either. It's really not bad. Uh, finish the five-year plan. I want those civilian factories, but we can wait. Military factories sound nice. Uh, let's go with the begin Stalinization. I could use more weekly stability and a political power. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just had negative, what, 150 political power or something? Something kind of crazy. Get Jinan back. Thank you very much. And actually, instead of you going up there, you can come down here. Or maybe, maybe not. Negative zero. I love negative zero political power. Makes you feel like a real revolutionary that way. Alright. Let's take a quick look. What are the casualties for the Sino-Japanese War? The Manchukuan Chinese War. 3,000, about 200,000 versus 183,000. Alright, well, it could be worse. China is more than halfway to capitulating, unfortunately. And it looks like Japan is trying some sort of cheeky encirclement. Oh, yeah. That, that group is encircled. Army group focus, or army focus. More organization is great. Army defense is good. Max entrenchment is pretty good as well. You get more soft attack, and then you get more hard attack. Hmm. Hmm. I like soft attack, but I really like defense. More max entrenchment. We're doing air doctrine already. Naval doctrine we can kind of ignore, but I really want to build up a battleship, since we have so much naval XP. And 1936 battleships, I mean, they're really not bad at all. I mean, if you build them, they're going to be useful as long as you can potentially upgrade them. Useful for the entire game. So, that's not bad. Support companies. Field hospitals are okay. They're not great. I mean, they do serve a purpose, but there are better things you can spend time on. Uh, let's see. For this playthrough, actually, when can we get Rocket Artillery 1940? That'd be too late for me. I kind of want to do Signal Company. Faster planning and more reinforcement in battle, since we're going to have a massive military or massive army that might actually prove to be useful but uh, no i'm going to do logistic companies first because that's in my opinion mandatory missed timeline on our five-year plan gus plan has informed us that the current five-year plan has fallen behind schedule while the industrial plan was originally ahead of schedule we've fallen behind and missed a deadline needed to finish it by the by the party this in turn has affected our future industrial efforts it's an embarrassment for the communist party uh remove revolutionized industry uh oh my goodness I lose all that political power. Just extend the deadline. Everyone makes mistakes. Ooh. Oh, shit. What did you... Oh, no. Maybe I should have finished the five-year plan then. Well, either way, I just lost a crap ton of political power. And, uh... Okay, so that's immediately finished. Did we get a couple more factories, I guess? Perhaps? I hope so. Hmm. Never played as a Soviet Union in Road to 56 anyway, so... Whatever. More encryption, please. Thank you very much. That's just a minor 
a minor amount of political power that we don't have, that's all. Just a small amount that we don't currently own. That's okay. You know, what? what is political power? You know, all power comes from the barrel of a gun. But, you know, that's, that's pretty much it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, force rotation, very nice. Go ahead and get the next level. Have we killed any more enemy planes over here? No. Hmm. Yeah, actually, we can... We only have... We can add ten more, but that really won't do very much. Oh, well, there's really not much else going on. I mean, we try to help out China. We try to help out Republican Spain. But a lot of things aren't... Oh, baby, we've begun desalinization of progress. But that sounds like a good time to stop, then. So then you guys can tell me whether I should go... Hopefully, I'll probably go with World Revolution regardless of what anyone says. But just to figure out what we're going to do next. So, with that in mind, guys, it was a eventful but somewhat uneventful episode. But that's okay. Some episodes are like that. But regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Uh, if you know why I'm not getting any supply through here, please let me know as well. And uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, guys, for watching.